it's something that this is a, 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 a kind of a documentary video that I watched on YouTube and it was about a farmer and uh, there's uh, there's a tragic there's a tragic part to this story but there's also a good ending to this story so stay with me soldier of self mastery here Santos Rolon Jr. straight out of Stockton remember to check out the link soldiersofselfmastery.com right below hey uh, the little red book makes a great gift for the holidays it makes a great gift that you can share with somebody else so remember to support this mission by getting a copy of the little red book again the link will be below share this video give me a thumbs up and leave your footprint with a comment all right my friend let's get into this so here's this guy right he's fairly a big big man not too big bigger than me and he was out working his business on a sunny day it looked like it was probably in the afternoon maybe towards the afternoon and I'm sure that he probably this guy operated different types of machinery because the machine that he was operating looked kind of big looked kind of strange now of course he, he didn't have a camera following him so this what, what I saw in the documentary was kind of like a reenactment you know so I'm describing what I saw to describe something about you and I the the potential and the 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 ability that you and I have to step up to the plate when necessary you know it's one thing to have that happen and it's another thing to be able to remind yourself every day more and more you know your good life is going to come out of a good series of good constant positive reminders something that I do all the time I really enjoy self-talk conversating reminding coaching inspiring motivating myself using this thing right here <laughs> it's not just for food but this guy uh, one day he was working and uh, something happened with the machinery. He, I guess he got off the machinery, stopped the machine, and went to look and see what was going on. So as, uh, as he began troubleshooting to find what was wrong, he put his arm, I guess he, his arm, his right arm, he reached into this area and somehow he got his arm he couldn't pull it back as i guess when he went to pull back something caught his arm and here it is between these machine this this uh i don't know exactly what they were but i imagine they were pretty pretty uh brutal because as he was describing what was going on, he could feel the, the flesh coming off his arm. You know, his arm was going, uh, either being pulled or something of that nature. All he knew was he felt his arm was gone. You know, and so he, he I can imagine, can you imagine the, the panic? Can you imagine the panic that you would feel if you were ever in a position like that? I mean, you get your arm caught and it's still a part of you. I mean, you enter in a... If you're not prepared for such a situation like that, if you're not prepared... Now, can you be fully prepared 100%? No, you, you can't be. But you, you can be pre more prepared. You can be more prepared than not be prepared at all. If you understand what I'm saying. Because you enter into a state of panic, a, a state of shock. In fact, you may not even feel the pain, but you know that something's wrong. I mean, can you imagine having your arm caught in some kind of a machine? And I could just feel the pain as this guy was describing what he was going through. I think I was feeling the pain more as I was watching that video than he was expressing inside the video of course it wasn't a real it was an enactment 
I would hate to be seeing the real thing. I'm sure it wouldn't. It, it would not be a good thing to watch. I don't think it would be. But I, as I was, as as this guy was sitting there, he knew he was going to bleed to death. He couldn't. You know, he's out in the middle of nowhere. Um, he knew that he had to do something. And uh, man, I just think about the, the that situation. To be in that situation like that. Oh, I wanted to say this that one time I was I had my finger. I mean, we're talking about an arm here, an entire arm. And by the way, the, the arm, the arm will come off the guy. Yeah. So I'm kind of giving it away a little bit, but eventually. So <laughs> I'm already telling you, my finger. I remember one day I caught my finger in between this. I don't know what I was doing in my sob. My 2013 Saab, I was doing something and I got my finger inside the dashboard. And I remember trying to pull my finger back out. And as soon as I pulled on it, I could feel like a metal catching it. And I thought, oh man, you know, shoot. I remember pulling on my finger a little bit and I can feel like the, the edge of a metal, something kind of cutting into my finger. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh man, I, I'm 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 starting to panic a little bit. I'm in the car by myself. Nobody was in the car with me. I was by myself, and I'm like, oh man. You know, I did. I started to panic. That was my finger, because I could feel the metal. And I was there for a little bit. I was there for a little bit, and finally, you know what? I made a decision. I yanked on my finger. I pulled on it. I said, you know what? I can't get my finger out. There's nothing we can do. We can't stick a plier in there or anything like that. My finger was caught in between this, this area and I and I yanked it. I think I got myself a little bit. It wasn't too bad, but I was, I, I panicked. I panicked because I could see what it was. It was a little metal coil inside the, inside the, uh, the thing in there that was hitting my finger. And I guess I pulled it fast enough where it did, I think it did scrape me, not too, I was, I don't think I was even bleeding. Or maybe I was, I'm not sure. But anyways, um, can you imagine having your arm stuck in a machine like that? Well, he managed to move his body and uh, I guess he was able to get his arm somehow with part of the way that that machinery was set up and the way where his arm was. He was able to to get his arm he was able to cut his arm off and then run for help run for cover why did I share that man it's at eight minutes and a half here I guess I just wanted to encourage you with with, with the fact that we're gonna go through some difficult times in life we're gonna go through some difficulties but you know what you can get through them just like that guy did and you've been through some stuff in your life in the past you've gotten through. I was pretty amazed with that man. Um, you know, the first time around you think the guy's gonna lose his, his life. I mean, that machine could have sucked him all in and who knows, man, it would have been a horrible thing. But anyways, uh, that's what I wanted to share. Give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to this. Subscribe to this mission. Support this mission, man. Get a book. The link will be below. SoldiersofSelfMastery.com Peace, restraint.